I was on house arrest um, for my third DUI. I was 23, 24 years old. And I always worked out, always busted my butt in the gym, but it was to go out to the bar and party or, you know, I was never taking care of my health. It was just always... Wait, 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 wait. What kind of party were we doing? You name it, I did. Until you're 23 years old, faced with a decision of... Sir, would you like to do 150 days in jail or do you want to do 300 days on house arrest? And I don't care if you're 24, if you're 18, if you're 35, 50, 60, it's never a decision that anybody wants to make. The judge is looking at him saying, you're in trouble. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in way more trouble than the last two times you were in here. Uh, you do not get to make another mistake. Do your three strikes, you're out, whatever you want to call it. This is a young man who's a good guy who's making some very, very poor decisions. So as you're scrambling for something else to do with your time besides drink, party, and have fun, how did you choose fitness? I, um, I always played sports growing up. I was always an active kid, um, probably competitive nature. Why don't I channel this energy, all this passion that I have for going out and partying, um, all this drive to find the next party, all the, the drive to find the hottest girl, all the drive to get the best drugs, you know, um, translate that into something positive. And for me, it was fitness. And just bored one day, I think I said, well, let's finally look at this Dave Kimberly guy. And I start seeing him like, wow, this is I, it was literally would give me chills. I think even to this day, I still get chills kind of thinking about it. Um, he's got a similar story to me, but except for, no offense, Dave, a little bit older. And if he could pull his head out of his ass at 30 years old, why can't I do it at 23, 24? It's not too late, never too late. I don't want to sit here and sound cliche and say, oh, Dave changed my life, Dave, you know. But in all honesty, I didn't think any of this was possible. I didn't think having ripped out was okay for the regular guy. I thought I'd have to be, you know, shooting up steroids every single day or, you know, it's all Photoshop, it's this and that, when in reality it's it's there. You just have to make the right decisions and you can you can you can be that guy. I mean you can literally start from nothing and build something. Awesome shaker cup from Vitargo, um, and this awesome third place trophy in national qualification to get one step closer to an IFBB Pro card. This, looking at this trophy, show them again. Show them again. Looking at this trophy, no matter how many times I could look at it, it says third place on here. I know that I earned it. I went out there. I ate the meals. I didn't have that slice of cheese pizza. I didn't have that what you know burger, that beer.